Justin Softley here for Nappy TV at the Hollywood and Highland Entertainment Complex, where day one, digital day, of the 2008 LA TV Festival is in full swing. Nappy has put together a stellar lineup of thought leaders from broadband, mobile, and alternative media platforms, as well as a host of Hollywood creatives on the cutting edge of digital content. They've all gathered here to discuss the latest trends, challenges, and opportunities for today's television producers. Here's a rundown of who's making news at the 2008 LA TV Festival today. Second year running, we like to come out here and meet with the different uh, producers who are talking, giving their keynote addresses. You know, a lot of them we deal with, a lot of them we would like to deal with. You know, we're always looking for a new, new product, new, to see what, what's out there, basically. And with this convention, you're also, you know, meeting the independent producers who are there trying to get their, their new shows across. And with the, the climate of getting new product nowadays, you want to be on the ground floor, you want to see what's out there. So we, we just want to be there to see, what, you know, get our finger in the, in the pie to see what's going on. Developing and, and producing your own stuff, you are your own studio. Uh, you know, on the bright side, you get to retain all uh, copyright and IP, but um, you're also wearing, you know, millions of hats. I mean, the writing and producing the, the, the content is, is almost the least of the, uh, of the worries. You then have to get out there and market it. You have to have a, uh, an understanding of, uh, of the internet and what that space means and why it's different from television and how to engage viewers and your audience because that's what they're expecting and um, you know go after advertising and so on and so forth so um, there are many different challenges 800 million people in the world that spend significant time in virtual worlds and that can range anything from you know a first person shooter type experience like a halo or grand theft auto or call of duty to kind of more social environments like Second Life, um, but uh, it's a significant cultural trend. We think it's a it's it's obviously a, uh, you know a, a major trend that people are spending a lot of time in. These worlds are getting more and more sophisticated and more and more interesting all the time. We want to encourage um, TV specific ratios, you know, four by three and sixteen by nine ratios. Um, we're seeing a lot of interest in 480p and 720p resolution. Um, the broadband connections here in the U.S. Um, are starting to catch up to be able to support those those uh, high definition streams but we also have our Adobe Media Player which is specifically designed to download these assets in the background so the the bit rate of your of your of your file uh, matters less in in transport uh, users can download these files asynchronously in the background and then play them locally um, so that you can deliver a 720 or 1080p resolution content and not worry about that broadband connection we have two million 3D uh, devices for the home already out in the marketplace. And the idea is that you have these great cinematic movies out there in 3D, Hannah Montana and so on. Those need to come to the home. Those need to come to mobile devices. And they also need to come to broadcast television. There is a camera now that is actually a Panasonic product that you literally point it at the subject, shoot, edit, and post it on YouTube, which totally eliminates any barrier to entry. It's, a, it's, it, it's amazing. If you shoot on a P2 card, it's it's pretty much uh, drag and drop into Final Cut uh, or Avid, and uh, it just sucks it up, and you can start editing within a few minutes. You don't have to digitize the footage, obviously, since it's already digital. You you basically just have to bring it into the system, and I think on one of them you have to transcode it, but it's a pretty well real time or faster than real time process, and and they have tools where you can do that on the set if you choose, or you can wait if you have enough card space uh, and do it in your edit room. There was a good uh, expression used, kind of total potential audience, and that's really, I think, the way content providers are increasingly thinking about um, how to monetize their, optimize the monetization of their broadband video. So they're thinking about the audience that they attract on their own sites, and they're also thinking about the audience that they can attract through all these various syndication partners. And by totaling all that up and selling ads across it, or using a paid you know, model, um, they're able to generate the, uh, the maximum amount of revenue. Ultimately, you know, a few things that we do, we know that do work. We know comedy works. We know music works. We know sports works. I mean, there's a lot of things that uh, that, that can happen in, in a lot of these genres. Um, but as far as a trend goes, I think it's a little early. For advertisers, really, people are trying to take advantage of the online video sort of revolution, and a lot of people are experimenting with viral advertising, in, in um, you know, in particular. And really, people don't know what's going on. Quite honestly, they'll put out um, a piece of content. They'll either buy placement or they'll put it out virally, and really it's difficult to measure. So um, just one example for a, a major consumer packaged goods company, Visible Measures was able to surface that that um, advertising campaign online actually received more, uh, two to three X more 
um, audience uh, viewership than what was previously uh, thought by the agency that put it out. And so we're able to surface um, insights around the campaigns. We're actually able to measure the community impact. We're also able to measure the derivative impact. So if you put out an original piece of content and people begin to respond to it, they make their own parodies, their own derivative works, we can measure all of that. It's so early right now, and, and we're, everyone's just exploring and trying new things, and I think the most important thing is just to get out there and experiment with different, with different options, build your audience over time, try new things all the time, be receptive to your audience feedback, and the internet is a brutal place in terms of feedback, and you've got to, be re you've got to have a little bit of thick skin and be receptive to that feedback, and then you know, and course correct over time um, for your, for your, your show. There's two more days of the LA TV Festival ahead. Tomorrow's Content Industry Forum, as well as NAPI's Reality Innovator Award presentation given to the producers of American Idol. Friday, it's Pitch Pit and Schmooze Fest, where budding producers have the opportunity to make all of those important industry contacts. For more information on the 2008 LA TV Festival, visit www.latvfest.net. For NAPI TV, I'm Justin Softley.